What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the bronze pad method. So if we go straight into it, we can talk whilst opening because it isn't necessarily as normal as you'd think with the bronze packs at the moment. As obviously we have no league SBCs, no real requirements for bronzes too much, bar from the fact we do have evolutions. That is something to definitely get into and maybe we do get somebody that's worth that. But in terms of the bronze packs, what you've got to do, unfortunately, we don't actually have the 400 coin bronze packs anymore, but we do have the 750, which we make work of it. Now, in terms of what you have to do for bronze pack method, so there's a few ways to look at it depending on what you want to get out. If you are looking for just coins, then you might as well just discard everything, literally getting as much profit as possible. And you may think to start with, and sometimes it can be absolutely mind-numbing and how long it takes you sometimes to get a card worth something but most definitely the cards that we can pick up are worth a little pretty penny so we see a 150 bid on him i want to say i did see a 200 somewhere there though 750 we'll try him let's just check the start again because i swear i saw was it just one two already there there's a 600 that's a nice one it's kind of one of them ones that I'd go, I'd just go 600. You could maybe go 700 and try and be greedy with him. But again, it depends on profit. And personally, I'm looking to sell them rather than necessarily keep them. So with this, if you are looking for total profit, you don't care about silver upgrades or anything like that. Discard everything that is not worth the value. Anybody that's worth the value, sell on. Anybody else, then just completely discard. They're not going to be worth anything of your time unless you are looking to keep them and sell them during marquee matchups or anything like that. So, for instance, if you've got someone from Lee Gun, at the minute, he's not, well, he's not even worth the 200 coins just yet as you've got one at 15 minutes. You could keep him, and if we did get a League SBC for Lee Gun or we did get a marquee matchup that required, required one league gun player you might find a little bit more profit you might actually just sell for the 200 but for instance if i was to just get rid of the whole of this as we've got one duplicate which is nothing we could do all of that for 172 or you can keep the coins you keep a little bit of value back in the players themselves you can obviously sell them later on if they do go up in value but nine times out of ten they do stay in your club unless it was very very specific center mids are always going to be good as well for the golden glow up purely for the fact that that is what the requirement is you more than likely will have to find someone who is of a caliber of a major major league or somebody like a joe bellingham is a great shout Managers as well are going to be another one. I'd like to tell you about SkyCoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. But in terms of where do you get your profit back, we will hopefully get one that shows you because at this moment in time, we are looking for evolution cards, major leagues, even a couple of wingers for the foundations, even though they are slowly going down now, purely for the fact that everybody is finishing up the foundations, finishing up all of the hybrid leagues and all of them that can have bronzes as well. So it is a little bit of half and half with it, but another good one that you get at the moment is managers. There is French managers that go for 5k a pop, Brazil managers that go for 5k, We've got a couple of other managers that you can actually get that are not necessarily in uh, kind of the major league that do sell as well. So we get a, a Brazilian manager there. That's a perfect example. So realistically, you are trying to really beat the system with this. So we go 350 for him. Try and be as lenient as you can. And to be honest, I would normally check most people just in case. But as we see with the Brazil manager, oh, he's dropped down a little bit, in fact. So he's still, what, well, we're chilling at 2-4 there. I'd say you're looking at about 2-8, I'd say. If he's got loads of free ones, by the time we get there, I'm going to go 2-8 with him. That should be enough. So already that's paid for, what, 2-8 is above 5-7. So you've paid for what just about four packs. Plus all of them packs still had discard value in them. Did I leave some? Yeah, I left something in there. They still have discard value in them. So it's not as if you are making nothing back from every single pack anyway. So if you look at about, I'd say normally about a 150 discard per everything just because that is roughly what you discard per one so if we look at this one as the example so if we was to discard all of this we get 
Ooh, that's, that's a low one. Don't, don't look at that one. But in terms of the player, 250, we're going to hold on to him um, against Southampton. Not unfortunately anything, but again, could be later on down the line. And we've got 150 bids, which again, not going to worth doing. I'm looking for the major sort of prices more than anything. But we see with that manager, you can get lucky and get somebody, for instance, like Manu, who plays for Man U. I've managed to get him once. He's a 10K instant sell player. Same as Joe Bellingham, 10K instant sell. And literally that pays for so many more packs. Once then you start getting to all of this as well, once you get to loads of people already being in your club, you kind of just discard the bronzes anyway, which makes the coins back as well. And that's where you can go do the silver upgrade that, again, doesn't necessarily give you the profit instantly. But if you go for a silver upgrade, which means you can go do gold, which means you can go do more SBCs, and you can obviously do tradable packs from there. We have another Brazil manager. Again, we're looking at about the same, probably more towards the 2.4. It's well, I would say 2.3, but it's funny that different managers obviously give you different values, even if they are Brazilian. It's it's a weird, weird fact that that works, but already there, there's technically what, five to six K worth of profit off two managers, plus any people we've sold and also the value as well. It's an easy way of doing it, but it does take some time. That is the big thing with Bronsman Method. It's not an easy fix. It is most definitely a bit of a grind to get forward and you kind of just slowly bring the profit in and sometimes you go completely under. You might go five to 10K under and then suddenly two players that are for the evolutions for Golden, Golden Glow Up might pop up literally in the same pack or in a few packs down the line, and it's golden. We look at a centre mid here. You've got a Real Madrid centre mid that's, I think, 5 or 10k as well, instant sell. So there is a lot to go off there. Also, we do wait for marquee matchups. Some of these players are going to be worth even better value. We are just touching the surface of the game, so there's not really loads to go off. That's quite a nice kit. There's not loads to go off in terms of bronze players, but already we've got a method that can just keep getting better. Like I said, you store pe people in your club, you'll be able to then take them and sell them straight away. If suddenly Swedish right wings are a massive thing, You've got five of them, perfect. That will then come back to the profit later on. And it's all about just knowing when they are, to be honest. If you look at an SBC, you see that there's no rating requirements. We've got one here at, what, 1K? Look at about eight, yeah, 800, I'd say. So we're going to go seven for him. Ped for the pack. It is a beautiful thing that sometimes you get lucky and you get a few people that sell. Sometimes you don't. It is as simple as that. When it comes to starting costs, realistically, I, I would say... You can start off with very little, but I would say you've got to have in between like 50 to 100,000 coins not to be risking. Because if you do go 20k under, say say 20k is kind of like the under, I would have said you'd pack definitely somebody by then. I think you've got to be very unlucky not to have. But if say you go 20k under, you don't want that to be your only 20k. Because then you're kind of discouraged. You've used 20k. What do you have to show for it? And I, and I completely get that. So a safer amount of about what 50 to 100 would be about better i think in terms of kind of cost what i've done i've probably become quite even because i went out and bought job as well so it's a kind of give and take we packed manu who gave me 10k we bought job for 10k it's kind of balanced itself out with that but it is just completely keep doing it there is very little to go wrong with it there's very little that you can do to go wrong with it unless literally you don't check most players or you don't put them up for the right price it's probably the only thing you can go wrong with. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory with it. It is simply opening bronze packs. Now, the second way, like I said, if you're not looking for just an easy, quick win, when you take the bronze players and go into SBCs, you can then go and do upgrades. So you can go do the silver, the bronze upgrade first, then into the silver upgrade as well. So what this does, for instance, if I take my bronze cards, we'll go for lowest first, and we'll just, in fact, we'll just uh, build the squad because we've got so many bronze players already. We'll just build the squad from lowest to highest. We can just go in like that, nice and easy. Nobody from major leagues, just in case, and beautiful. That's the first one done. We could just continually do this, get in more two silver player packs, which then leads us either to a doing the silver. Silver upgrade if we really wanted to or we could keep them silvers and go and put them into other SBCs that come out. Marquee matchups always requires a 75 rated team. You've then obviously got an abundance of 72s to 74s that would mean you don't put in more golds. It's all about efficiency. So for instance we got a 67 and a 72. We've got somebody terms of value coming in at free 400 and about 300 for him as well it may not be the greatest value back in terms of untradableness 
But it's the whole point of where the game's going. It is very hard to make coins. It's not the easiest unless, A, you're buying FIFA points. You're obviously putting on uh, coins or whatever you're doing. It is not very easy to do. So most definitely, you've got to find your wins where you can. And whilst the game is relatively kind of stale at the moment until we get champs, until we get more content that means we have to do more... You literally just have to kind of find what you can, to be honest. I'm not going to play 300 friendlies, but also as well as a, just a side note, because this is an extra thing that you can get from this. If you haven't finished all of the objective tab, which will be in uh, milestones, you've got squad builder that gives you, is, does it give you 100k pack by the end? Oh, okay. Maybe not. I thought they might have been generous. But you can you can get six rare gold players if you really wanted to. I, I thought they'd be more lenient, but unfortunately not. But that's the best way to do it. 750 coins. Get your bronze packs opened. Have a look for as many players and managers as you can. If you don't know the price or can't assume the price, have a check. It is not hard to, to quickly go and check a player and just double check. All I do normally to, to know if I'm going to sell him, if you've got somebody at, say, 200 before the 30th minute, say, I just wouldn't put him up for 200 and put him into the club. It goes for everybody. Normally, if they're not worth selling, you'd see a 200 pretty quickly. There's no way that there's suddenly people that don't go, that don't have that 200. Unless they're all 5k max price down to the final minute, then fair enough. You're still not going to probably sell them. But always check the prices. Major leagues will always do better, or major nations at the very minimum will tend to do better. But there is them gems that do come out. For instance, we just got another Brazilian manager at a again 2.6 again so we may have undersold our last one but again nice price and also there is stadiums as well which i find weird that wembley and we've seen emirates at literally a bronze rated sometimes they do go i know the emirates i think went for me two days ago i want to say at about 1.2k which is crazy for bronzes so always check out on them as well I would say kits, but to be honest, I've not really come across many that are worth anything unless I haven't packed the vintage ones or something that is worth something. So if you see a nice kit, then go ahead, have a look at the price. Badges are still broken, so you won't unfortunately be able to see any sort of rating from them or prices. It is still completely broken, which hopefully if that was a badge just down there, I will show you. So for instance, with the kit, we've obviously got that there. And no, it wasn't a badge, which is always better. No, no badge there. And this guy, this guy, I'm, I'm glad I didn't finish the video. I don't get this because his name's Do A Song. I don't know, but he's 5K, L literally 5K done. That There you go. There's the profit made. So it is crazy when you look at it. I don't, I should have realized what sort of profit we're actually on to start with. I know we was over 600K. I don't know if it was over 610 or not, but just as a kind of show that things do sell, as we see already, Got them gone. Obviously, the manager, the second manager's not gone, so I might have put him up for a little bit more. Maybe drop him to 2.6 like uh, Beatrice. We might actually have got some, but as you can see, they do sell. So there, there is no cap there. If we was to look at it, we're at, what, 6.10, 6.10, 6.13, 6.14, give or take. I'd say we've probably even made money on that point. So it just shows that it does work. You've just got to stick with it and hopefully get a little bit of luck at the same time. So let me know if this helps. If you need any more questions answering, please leave a comment down below and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.